All right, guys, NMRC here with you guys. We got the town sport on the workbench today. And as you can see, there's something laying right there. But you can't even tell right now, right? Looks normal. So, uh, well, let's set this like that. See, it looks normal. Looks pretty good. We know that's the front, right? That's the rear bumper. So let's turn this guy on. Uh, right now I'm using the uh, five channel radio. And uh, let's barely get this open so I can, come on. And as you guys can see, oh, come on, turn on. As you guys can see, once this thing decides to turn on, we got four wheel steer on this. It's on this switch, unfortunately, because there's only three channels on the stock radio. So we got rear steer, but no center to it, right? So you have to hold this button, or try to where it's straight. So I need to find a five channel, well not find, but buy a uh, five channel receiver for this guy. So I can, um, I should have put my thumb thingy on here. Would have been easier to drive. But uh, we'll turn it around here for you guys. Good crab walk really good. And I put this, uh, Well, front axle as a rear axle off the Bronco that I'm rebuilding. So, I don't have to, I don't, I have an extra axle because um, I'm changing. Let me turn this off because this thing's loud. If it'll turn off, come on. There we go. But, um, yeah, I'm rebuilding the Bronco so I don't need that axle for the Bronco. So I have an extra one. So we got four wheel steer sport right here. So I'm curious to uh, get a five channel receiver right and uh, hook that second servo which is on the rear to where hopefully it would work on this. But the only thing I'm worried about is that it only does one diff at a time right. So that's full lock. Rear's unlocked, front's unlocked. So, with that being said, I wonder if this guy here would have to be a pigtail, like a Y. So, just for reference, that way you guys get a better understanding of what I'm trying to explain here, is if you plug this into your servo here. Oh, man, can't plug that one in so what I was gonna try and do is plug this end in and then plug these two ends on both channels that go to this right here that way it could be turning I don't know let's say left that's center and then turn right so if anybody's done that let me know how you did it because I just realized this has the female and then male and then male so I don't know if I could go male with male here right if I can hold it in the view of the camera here male male and then that to the servo as female which it would have to because that's the only way the servo could plug into this harness, so yeah, that might work. Maybe. It's kind of weird. I thought the uh, other end was like that, not unless it'll feed power back and mess it up, but I hope not. But uh, I'll have to figure it out and try it. But yeah, just figured I'd share that guy, share this with you guys. Um, now let me explain 
how I did what I did with what I had and how I did it. Once I get this battery unplugged. Okay. So, with the battery out and out of the way, unplugged. We'll flip this guy over. This rear post still doesn't line up where the original post is. So, I kind of wonder if I should stick the servo where the post is. And then the post where the servo's at. And slide these shock towers back, which I kind of don't want to do. I like the angle of the shocks. Gives a little bit of angle to it. But anyway, let me fold this antenna out of the way here. Or set it to the edge. But anyway... So here we got the front, as you can see, I'm going to take that diff cover off of that, put it on this guy, maybe. This is just to see, because I'm going to get a kit and build a uh, comp rig out of it. Yeah, I know these TRX4s don't turn that sharp, but that's why I'm making four-wheel steer, to eliminate the non-turnable front end, or steering if you will as the uh, SCX-10-2 has. So, anyway, so I just took the drive shaft that was on that rear axle, put it on this front axle, used the same bottom links. I used one of these links here from the front to go on the top here for the third link member. And then, um, then I just took, which you have to thread it out. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that in there because this dang plug is in the way here. There we go. See how I had to thread it out some? I'm about halfway on each rod link end, halfway off the thread, so it'll pull. It'll reach the uh, top third mount because if not, if not, um, Pan hard bar. Dang it, I can't get a good view of it. Sorry guys, it's all dark. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn the light back on. But anyway, pan hard bar will hit the top of that third mountain there. And then I had to get a longer screw and a spacer right there. And space that out so it would not hit the top of that third link right there because it's really close so issue with uh, having it like that so I might have to bring these out bring that flop it in and uh, go from there but yeah it, it works as is see it has full uh, spring to it flex whatever you want to call that and, uh, you know, is capable. See, I can do, that's about as high as we'll go right there. But uh, I figured I'd toy with the idea of uh, making a four-wheel steer TRX4 sport. TRX4 in general. So, uh, there you go, guys. Um, I will uh, figure out upon getting me a receiver and seeing if that'll work if nobody has commented and tells me how they did it if anyone has done this I have yet to see this I believe I don't think I've seen this yet but uh, I'll, I'll look it up just to see and uh, I'll try and flip flop that stuff so that those will line up that's better on the steering rod and pan hard bar and etc but uh yeah, there's my nice little shop video idea that I was wanting to do for a while. Just finally quit being lazy and did it. But, uh, alright guys, thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode.